Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be turning my Polygon T7 into a race weapon. It's currently the day before the Eliminator race and we got to get this bike from a trail bike into a full attack kind of like XE style bike so pretty excited for this first time I'm ever going to be doing a mountain bike Eliminator and it's the national series for New Zealand so when it gets national champs but honestly just expecting to get hopefully top 32 get the qualifying but first thing we got to do is set this bike up so run you through what we need to do all right so first thing we've got to do is change the tires to the more race suited compound because these trail tires that are on it are a bit too wide don't have the good rolling like too much rolling resistance for what I want since we're this course is like an urban course so there's going to be a lot of concrete and stuff so switch over to some Maxxis tyres. Right, so I got the Ardent Race. These are second-hand tyres. Found them up in the CLN parents' place, so good to get some freebies like that. It's probably going to transform the bike to more of like an XC style. Alright, so we got front wheel off. Gonna start with that and take this tyre off and chuck on the race one. So this huge difference in tyres, pretty much going from mud tyre to a super dry cross country tyre so definitely going to notice the difference on this one. Alright so we got one wheel done, it's pretty funny how <laughs> narrow it is compared to what we were running so definitely going to notice this difference. Hopefully it's just better rolling resistance and stuff so yeah a lot faster link going on and I'll jump to the back one now. Alright that's the back tire on, just need to pump them up, chuck them on, see how it looks with the skinnier tires on this big trail bike. So we got clip pedals, these were also just found at my parents place so another good freebie to get race ready. Alright so a couple more things I need to just tweak to get this race ready. First thing we're going to drop the stem down just one more just so we can get super over the front, super low tucked in type of stance and then the next thing we're probably going to have to bring the seat, seat angle just bring it forward a bit, match that and then we have to bring it up a bit. Right, so I know it looks a bit ridiculous, but I've got to get this race set up. It's not going to be too pretty, but next thing we're just going to tweak that seat forward a bit. Maybe raise it up because moving to clips from flats, you add like a bit to the bottom of your shoe, so it's you stand a bit taller on the bike. So we've got to keep that in mind. Raise the seat up a little, tilt it forward, and then we should be in that attack position. All right, so definitely going to ride this and tweak the few little things, but this is pretty much overall what we got as our race setup. And we'll change just a few angles up here just to suit our new setup. All right, it's the next day. We get the bike all set up. Here it is at the moment. Got the new tires, seats up, got the gears tuned up down at Bike Garage, so shout out Seth. Still need to do a bit of tweaking on just the, where I want my cable, like shifter and brake set up, but I'll ride around for a bit. Might need to tighten up the pedals as well a bit more because quite a bit of float with the Shimano stuff. So if we tighten that, get the rest done. Need to load up the ute, 
because today is the day of the eliminator race. Two o'clock now and I think about 5.30 is when we get to practice and then about 6.30 is when I get my qualifying race. So got a couple hours, get to Rotorua, check in, make sure the bike's good and then. All right, so we got our smoko, got some brown rice, sushi, with the old avocado salmon. So this is gonna be race fuel for today. Get some water as well, and then we'll be on. Heading over to Rotorua. Gotta get some gas. Yo. William's got sushi on the go. Same as well, mate. So, it's white rice. It's gonna be good. The other day yesterday, bro. Must be going up 10. Whoa. All right, so we've made over to Rotorua. And we've just registered. Got my wristband for the Waka 100, but I'm doing the 25k. Alright, so let's see what we got in this bag. When you register, got a good little goodie bag. Let's see what we got. So we got race number four. This will be on Sunday when I do 25k. Sticker as well. And then this should be my race plate for the Eliminator. So we got 51. And it's got transponder, I'm pretty sure, for the timing and stuff. Got a good old drink bottle. Camel pack one, it's pretty sick. Disc rotor wipes, it's coming handy. Might try those out. But now we gotta go for a warm up because it's 4 o'clock now. Briefing's at 5.15, but practice isn't until about quarter to six, so we got about an hour to warm up. Alright, we're all geared up, got some new gear, got some fast house stuff gloves love their brand pretty cool stuff so I'm gonna probably switch over to the GoPro got the Hero 11 now we're just gonna warm up and see how we go oh bloody gears good all right we're out on the new GoPro hope you guys like the quality bikes feeling mean riding in clips is a bit unusual for this bike but couple laps and we'll get good. Gears are pretty good after Seth tuned them up. <laughs> Team rider out here. We're just gonna go up to down the guts, challenge roadside, do a couple laps to warm up. We've got runs. All right, we made it up to where challenge roadside start. Bike's running probably the best it has, especially with these tires. Good rolling resistance and stuff, but yeah, we'll drop into roadside first. See how it feels over some jumps. All right. Dropping in. Let William go in front, just feel it out. It's chopping through. See how smooth this GoPro is. Alright, just um, challenge roadside. Bike was a little rough because we pumped the tyres up to about 30 psi. Because this eliminator is going to be all road with like wooden features, so we're going for speed there. Bike feels good, everything was tight, no like gear shifts that were weird or anything, so all in all, pretty smooth. Hope you like that GoPro footage, I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible for you guys. So. We'll chug it down down the guts, rip it back to the car, and then we got to get over for briefing. All right, so we're back at the top. We're going to hit it down down the guts now. I'm going to try a standing start, so just to get some extra practice in before the eliminator. Right. These tires aren't helping. Clips feel quick though. Jump out. Nah. Alright, 
we're gonna mush it back to the car park, load up the bikes, and then head back into town for the briefing. <laughs> Alright, so we're back in the car, packed up, bikes running mint. Pretty stoked. Oh, you turn that copyright music down, eh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, bike's running pretty good. Tire pressure was high for the woods, but it'll be good for the road. But we're probably going to end this video here because we're about to head into town for briefing and we'll do that as a separate video. So, hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for the race. Let's go for the win, baby. Yeah. <laughs>